Well, good morning, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope all you guys are having a great day. It is Saturday, and um, we are taking a little bit of a break. Um, we're at the airport this morning. We've already checked in. We're listening to this music. I don't know if you can hear it or not. Don't know if it'll be copyrighted. Um, but our flight is at 6, 6.30. 6.30 is our flight. Um, so we're going to be boarding here soon. Now, before I get on the plane here, you know, it's funny because, you know, Eagle fans, they get triggered so easily. They um, literally believe that everything is perfect in their world. And Jalen Hurts is the best quarterback in the history of football. It, it just is. But it's funny because uh, when I first saw this story yesterday, I wasn't sure that I actually believed it. Um, when I heard that they had actually had a deal in place, <clears throat> excuse me, for Russell Wilson, that they were making a trade because they didn't believe in Jalen Hurts. I remember Philly 500 last year literally saying that. Um, you know, I don't know about Hurts. I don't know about Hurts because he still had love and feelings, of course, for Carson Wentz. But apparently the front office didn't believe in him enough to try and make a trade for Russell Wilson. Now, we saw what that trade was. That trade was multiple players as well as a couple of first-round draft picks. They ended up giving up the farm for Denver to get him. But the Eagles had a deal in place for him. Now... I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to be trying to be the anti-eagle, the, the guy who's just trying to put out their possibilities because quarterbacks will have good years and bad years. Um, going into that season, I'm not saying that, that Jalen Hurts isn't a good quarterback. I'm not saying that whatsoever. But going to that season, there was really not a book out on what the Eagles were going to do. He got a great receiver in A.J. Brown. Devontae Smith stepped up. but And they had a great running attack. They had a great offensive line. Everything was set up well for him to succeed, especially with teams not knowing how to attack them. I think about how good RG3. Um, the, the seat said, please allow space. Please allow some extra space. No? Okay. I was just just trying to follow what the seat said. The seat said, please allow for some extra space. Um, um, but I think about RG3. RG3, his rookie year, nobody knew what to, how to attack him. I literally remember DeMarcus Ware standing flat-footed because he didn't know what to do. Because here it is. You know, he's running outside. It's like, do I go to the quarterback? Do I go ahead and go into coverage? What do I do? And he literally just stand, sit there, dumbfounded, as RG3 ran past him. The next year, although, be it, he did have a knee injury, which slowed him down. Teams understood, we can't let him beat us with his legs. Our, our, our deal is, continue to keep him in a pocket. Keep him in a pocket and force him to be a pocket quarterback. And once they did that, things were not the same. They were not the same at all for RG3. So understand that now that the Eagles have a tougher schedule, now that um, you've lost an offensive coordinator, the book is out on you know what Jalen Hurts does and teams will go through and counter. I don't think you're going to see Jalen Hurts going up the middle like he used to. Teams are going to understand, first of all, and one thing, make sure somebody stays home to cover the middle of the field so he does not just run up the middle. And that's going to be the first thing they do. And when you look at the Cowboys, how they've built this defense, which is predicated on speed. Speed. Whoa, dude. Whoa. It's going to be meant to counteract what Jalen Hurts does. So, Eagle fans, hey, you know, I, I can't bl you know, be mad at you guys for constantly trying to improve your situation. Um, the Cowboys, we don't go out and do that same thing, but for some reason, somehow, some way, we still seem able to compete. 
the wife is getting selfie uh, before we leave here. And the sun's about to come up. So um, we'll be on a cruise. And this is a new cruise ship and a new style of cruising. Virgin Atlantic. And it's supposed to be different. It's supposed to have... Hi there. Um, it's supposed to have great Wi-Fi. Great Wi-Fi. And then they have the bonus where it's, you know, the, the upgraded at $10 a day. Which, in comparison to other cruises I've been on where it's like $30 a day and it's ass ass. I mean ass ass as far as Wi-Fi. Uh, we'll see if it actually works. But definitely going to give you guys a view and I guess we're going to go ahead and do a rating on the cruise. Yeah. Let's see how it actually is. Um, I know Q. 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 Charles, you're like, yeah, you were interested in it, so I'm going to definitely check it out and see how it... Uh, how it goes and see if I oh, look at that that frosting's getting a little frostier up on top mm. can't wait for football season to get here really can't wait for football season. I'm talking to them about I can't well I can't wait to get on the cruise too but I also can't wait for football season to get here uh, and I tell you what else I can't wait for I need some coffee I see a Dunkin' Donuts Express. Ooh, donuts. I just need coffee. All right, good people. I will see you guys on the other side. I think we start boarding in 15 minutes. Due to increased DSA security measures.